good. All right, Tatum, looking back on the, on the Butler film, was it as good as it, it initially thought? Um, yes and no. Obviously, there's little things that we can get better at, and those are big focuses this week because we have two big games coming out this weekend. The fact that you guys set a school and a Big East record in that game, I mean, it, did it just kind of feel like everything was working, or, or did that even surprise you, putting up 22 threes? Um, it doesn't surprise me. Um, I think our team is so talented, and we really work together, and our chemistry is so strong right now. Um, that and we have so many shooters that they're going to make open threes and you get LJ going that early like she's dangerous. St. John's up next. What do you remember yeah. about that first matchup? Um, they played really well the first time that we played them. Um, we only had a one day prep so I think going into it this week everyone's super focused in practice paying attention to details um, and so I think that with us being able to prepare a little bit more um, we'll have a better scheme going into it. Still looking good in the net rankings, but do you kind of feel like, at least for these next couple games, there's no room for error if you want to keep that resume up? Yeah, absolutely. Um, these next three games are the biggest three games of the year, um, especially this Friday. And I think that's really important for us is to just look one game at a time and just go into it with everything that we have. Three games. I mean, that's three regular season games left for a senior like you. Yeah. Have you thought about uh, the sort of emotional finish yeah. line that you're approaching right now? For sure. Um, it's been an emotional week, week and a half, and just to know that my basketball career is coming to an end, I'm really just trying to soak it all in and just really focus on the positives of life right now and just really enjoying like my teammates and like the love that we've shared this year. Yeah, yeah. How much is, how much is, I mean, I feel like you've talked about your teammates a lot. Yeah. Every time we talk to you, you yeah. you're like, um, just seem grateful that you came back. How, how much have they had an impact on your enjoyment of this year and making the most of it. Absolutely. Um, I've probably grown the most out of my five years here this last year. Um, just being able to play with such competitors and then being able to love so hard when we're off the court. Um, I think it's just taught me so much about life and so much about what it means to compete at a really high level, but then like be a really good person off the court. Um, I think there's so many of my teammates that do that so well. Um, so I'm extremely grateful that I came back this year. Gotcha. What would it mean to you to, to go out as a senior and send this team out with an NCAA tournament bid if it could happen? Yeah, um, it's my dream. Um, we got there a couple years ago and obviously we had a heartbreaking year when COVID hit um, and then last year was kind of a rebuild year and I think we've shocked some people this year of just like how much talent we have and how good we've been but it doesn't just stop now like we have a lot to prove to people. What's it been like playing with um, Emma and Morgan, who can both like, they're yeah. kind of like hybrid four fives. Mm -hmm. And I feel like traditionally when you've been here, like you guys have typically had like a back to the basket five. Every now and then maybe with Aubrey, you would uh, yeah. maybe like put yeah. her at the five, but to have two options mm -hmm. like that, like how, what has that done to your offense? What has it done for your job as a point guard? To, <laughs> Absolutely. Um, um, it makes my job it. as a point guard so fun because yeah. I have, two more weapons that I can hit and find in transition and in the offense. And I think it's been so cool to see their growth over the last year and a half and just to see how much work, work in, like in the weight room and on the court that they've put in and they really want to be the best that they can be and that's all you can ask for as a fifth year senior. Yeah. All right, Morgan, looking back on that Butler game, I mean, was it as, as good as it felt at the time or how did that feel compared to actually being in the moment? It was fun all around. Um, in the game, it was fun. I think even leading up to the game, we knew we wanted to put two full halves together, um, especially after the way we played on Friday. So uh, just to get out to a good start and then maintain it throughout the game, I mean, hitting the shots helped. But uh, yeah, it was a fun game and, you know, kind of wanted to catapult us into this next week. With that three point record, that, you know, not just school, but also Big East record, I mean, what was working so well to get those those looks on Sunday? Um, the zone, the zone obviously played a role, um, but I think we just shared the ball. We spaced well in transition, and uh, you know we had people run into the rim, and you know that opened up our shooters on the outside. So, yeah. did you guys do anything to commemorate it? I mean, that's a pretty big accomplishment. I don't know did the dance party get more intense in the <laughs> locker room, or like what? what how did you guys um, celebrate that one? If at all, I don't we know. We really didn't. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah, I wish we would have done something a little more. Maybe they'll do something here in the future. Yeah. But um, no, we just took it as we played well. Move on. Move on. Yeah. yeah. I know these games are probably all meshing together in your mind, but Saint, you get St. John's again this week. What do you remember about that first matchup, if anything? Um, we remember when we were talking in practice yesterday that we didn't have – we had a day of prep and we didn't even go any on-court stuff. Um, and – you know, we didn't have trouble scoring the ball, but we need to just have better defense and better one-on-one -on -one defense. Um, they can't get 80 points again is basically bottom line for this week. When it comes to the net rankings, your team's still in really good shape, but do you kind of feel like with this, this final stretch of the regular season, there's still no room for error? you got to keep it up in order to pad that resume a little bit? Yeah, I think uh, we feel that. It's a little bit of pressure, but I think we're not going to – overemphasize anything and you know scare ourselves uh, in any way um, you know these will be solid teams and good games on us and then on the road is another factor but you know we're just going to go out and try to play a solid game you guys have had some good results on the road what what has gone well when you've played w well on the road you know like I guess what do you kind of what will you talk about going into these two games away from home that'll maybe help you yeah, I think uh, just focusing on what we can control. Um, you know, we're obviously going to know second time around playing these teams what we're going to get, but you focus on us, make our right reads, and take advantage of our mismatches, and we right. should win. <laughs> Tatum was up here saying how she wanted, you know, some of the younger players to experience an NCAA tournament. Kind of on the flip side of that, how bad do you want to send the seniors, particularly Tatum, out? with an NCAA tournament appearance. Yeah, that's been the goal all year. Um, and then just playing solid all year and never really going through a slump. Um, that's just been a key part of, you know, setting us up for this moment. Um, we're just finished out the regular season strong. Hopefully have a good Big East tournament. Uh, and yeah, want to experience that. Yeah, did you guys do anything special? Uh, you, you hit 22 threes. I wonder if that... Uh, <laughs> that was worth celebrating in any meaningful way or do you, it's, it's, we're at the point yeah, of the was, season where you just kind of yeah, it was, <laughs> say, celebrate and move on. It was interesting because Connie, you know, came to me, I think at sometime in the third quarter and said, hey, not that you're thinking about it, but the school record for threes is this, and this is how many we have, and the school record for threes is this, and this is how many Lauren has. And <laughs> um, so it was, it was fun. I mean, I felt like, you know, we got off to such a great start, which we have before in some games. But, uh, you know, the fact that they had, had almost had to play zone with kind of their rotation and all the new kids that they had, I mean, kind of was a perfect storm. So, um, but it was one of those where, you know, when you, when you look back and think that you had 20 after three quarters, you kind of wish you'd have pushed that record out to 25 to 27, you know. But then again, it makes it potentially more breakable now that it's only at, uh, tw only at 22. And yeah. then, you know, just to think that we made more threes than take how many twos we took is kind of odd. But I guess it out also just kind of characterizes our team to some degree. Right. Um, I, I, well, one of the things I think Morgan said, you know, we really wanted to play two good halves, put those two together, and I, I feel like you probably felt you, you did that on no. Sunday. How, how encouraging was that just to see your team, especially after Friday, maybe not yeah. performing the way you wanted yeah. to, to, to not only start well, but then carry it on through, throughout the game? Yeah, for sure. I, fe I felt really good about it. And I know Butler's young, and they've, they've had a challenging season, but it's still, you know, their scores lately have been much more competitive. So I think, I think it's an indication of, of how well we played both halves and um, really up, kind of up and down the roster. We had some people not available. Um, on Sunday, who will be available coming up? But yeah, it was. Uh, I thought it was a, maybe Butler's just a good matchup for us. And I know again they're they're struggling, but like I think we've played really well both times against them. And, and to get one, I think going into this road weekend, to get one that you feel really good about is is uh, will help us. You know, because I didn't I didn't feel great about how we played on Friday, particularly the first half. Um, I wanted to ask you about, I, I, I have asked you about um, Emma and Morgan before, like the recruiting piece of it, but have, have you, do you, 
tinkering how you run offense? Are there certain? I mean, have you had? Did you have to kind of dig deep in your yeah. coaching reservoir to find certain plays that would work specific for them? Yeah. Um, how much brainstorming have you guys done as a staff to really try to maximize what they can do? Uh, yeah. with how versatile they are. Well, it helps that you know we had Audrey and Jalen, and and they're different different players, but still kind of. You know, Audrey maybe a little more so because Jalen's five, ten and a half. But um, still, to have that kind of flexibility, stretch four type player is, you know, um, yeah, we put some stuff in. But then I think back to you know some of the stuff that Mac did with Doug and and Ethan. You know, as far as like when you play smaller and yeah, they you have a hard time guarding them to some degree, but they have an even harder time guarding you. So. There's some things that we've uh, that we've kind of put in. And have, so have you busted out the Doug McDermott <laughs> film? Well, even to go it? back, even to go back, you know, I think of a couple of the sets that Danny used to run for Corver when Corver played the four, and yeah. you know, you know, we do some of that for Morgan because yeah. it's like she's such a catch and shoot phenom, you know, like and with with ridiculous range. I I think. You know, one set in particular that we run for her is kind of pretty much right from what Dana ran for Kyle. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, you you know, <laughs> when you've been around a while, you but but they make it fun because they're 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 talented and they've worked to put themselves in a position where they're just really skilled players. Yeah. Did, did you have to? Um, because I, I think that they're probably they would lean maybe toward more toward stretch fours than actual stretch yeah. fives. Did right. you have to? Would it take any convincing to say, oh, you know what, we can play together, we can play, we can start, the, they can rotate at the five right. to actually say, okay, we're not going to have a, I mean, I guess they could back, right. they could back go back to the basket, but maybe not have that piece. Because right. you guys play five out at times, you know. For sure, right? yeah. <laughs> yeah, we have. I mean, we, you know, and Emma probably had more, oddly enough, Emma probably had more experience posting up in high school, even though she played, you know, at the highest level in South Dakota and, Morgan played, you know, Class B, where you think she probably would have posted up more in high school, but she didn't. <laughs> <laughs> um, and so it's been, you know, a little bit of a work to get her more comfortable in the low and mid post because, yeah. but her footwork and her willingness to get down there has been, has been good because, you know, last year toward the end of the year, some teams were playing her with guards, which made sense because she was more of just a catch and shoot player. So having her become more of a hybrid and having being more inside out has been good and then Emma kind of you know Emma doesn't hunt the three as much as Morgan yeah. but but you know she can she can still go off for three threes in a game and so yeah playing them together is fun and it's but I think it's it's also a, a function of you know what, what can they do defensively you know and we've kind of had to tinker with okay do we want Morgan to guard their you know, and who's who's fresher? Maybe Emma's fresher or Morgan's fresher. So it's like, well, now we need to put that person on the other team's better post. So there's some give and take there in terms of okay, who's who's more suited defensively at this time. 